guys welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna be removing some valve springs and retainers off of an Evo 8 head and I'm gonna be doing that with the uh, Euro export 4b11 4g63 valve spring installation kit it's gonna make life a lot easier um, I came across this a few years ago and it really really does help when you're trying to take these valve springs and remove the retainers off the head and this is gonna make that job a piece of cake guys so stay tuned all right, so there it is. There's the Evo 8 head that we're going to be using. It came off of a customer's car a few years ago. There is some rust on the cam, the cams themselves, but we're not too worried about that. We're not going to be using the cams. We're just worried about the valves, the springs, and the retainers. Those are what we're going to use for our Talon build. This is going to be a nice little upgrade. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm going to go with this setup. The reason I chose this setup is because it was cheap. I pretty much got it for nothing. Thanks to Jason, I really appreciate it. Shout out to you. Um, this cylinder head was donated. This is part of the DSM community, so we're just recycling the stuff that we have available to us, and we're gonna see how far we can go on it. Uh, but honestly, this setup just with springs and the retainers, we're gonna save about 430 grams, and that's a pretty significant drop in weight for free. And also, we're gonna be switching the valves out for the Evo 8 valves. And on the exhaust side, the valves are sodium filled, so they do dissipate heat a lot better than the DSM stock valves. So that's another plus for us. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So here is the Euro Export Kit, part number 40011. This works on the 4G63. It also works on the 4B11. Your kit comes with your block, which you use to bolt down to the cylinder head. You get a couple of bolts, some washers there. And that's going to go on your cam cap sections. You'll be able to bolt this thing down. It has a couple of different holes. And once you bolt it down, you can slide it around as you need. And then you go ahead and you take, you take this bolt and you'll thread it down in here. And along with the kit comes a cup. And this cup is what's going to go over your retainer. And you have a little access right window right there. That's going to allow us to get a flathead or even a uh, magnet bound down in there to get that keeper out. Alright guys, so we have it all bolted down. The bolts that bolt the block down, the tool down, are 13 millimeters, and they actually bolt into the cam cap sections, the threaded parts for the cam caps. And this bolt right here is a 14, and it threads down into the block that is part of the kit. So it's important to run this down by hand until you stop up against this little cup. And then we'll take our drill, or in this case the impact, I'm just going to bump it a couple times. You'll see the spring and the retainer come down. And the keepers are freed up. So I have a little magnetic tool here that comes with your kit. I'll just go like that. And it's out. And there you go. Once you have those out of the way, just slowly back up the bolt, releasing the tension on the spring. And that one's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and unbolt this so you guys can see. Now it's all unbolted. And we can just take it right out. So there you go. It's a very, very simple tool to use, and it saves you a lot of time. Here I tapped the top of the cup with a rubber mallet. That released 
the keepers and allowed them to stay at the top of the valve stem, making it easier for me to remove the springs and the retainers. Another thing I want to go over is getting the valve seals out. I just have this universal valve seal puller. It's pretty straightforward. And all you do is you set it down on your valve seal and you have to give it a pull. Let me give it a pull guys, hold on. go got our valve seal out and the valve just drops out the bottom okay so hopefully you guys can see the difference here these are the ones we just remove out the Evo head and here is the DSM setup it's quite a bit heavier you can see the size difference, just side by side, once again DSM, and then here's the Evo setup. This is a lot lighter, this is going to be able to handle the RPM a lot better, so we'll feel comfortable going to 8000 RPMs versus the DSM setup. We might uh, float a valve at that RPM, so yeah, hopefully that works out. Alright, that's going to be it for today guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.